How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Blade Runner 2049 Officer K action figure. The uh, figure was released in 2017 uh, in conjunction with the release of Blade Runner 2049, the uh, sequel to Ridley Scott's 1982 sci-fi masterpiece that is Blade Runner. Huge fan of this movie. Uh, I actually saw it in the theaters and was blown away uh, instantly when I saw it. Uh, I kind of had a resurgence with Blade Runner. I saw it when I was younger. When the original Blade Runner, I was kind of like, it was kind of boring to me. As I've gotten older, it definitely has become one of my favorite movies of all time. The, from the world, the story, everything like that. So I was really excited when uh, they had announced uh, 2049. In my opinion, I think this movie is an absolute masterpiece from the score the visuals everything is just yeah i can go on and on about this movie we're going to go ahead and uh, get a quick look around the box and then we'll uh, get it opened up and get a better look at the figure so on this one guys it's uh not an ultimate figure it's just um it's like the window packaging blade runner 2049 officer k action figure outside we got the blade runner 2049 logo Officer K logo. On the back, we have a photo shot of uh, Ryan Gosling or a promo shot. Uh, we had there was two two waves of these figures. There was uh, Deckard and uh, K in the first wave, and then in the second wave, at this point they had already released uh, Love and Wallace, which uh, I do have Deckard and I do have obviously K but I'm missing uh, Love and Wallace. And uh, there's a little write-up up here of the uh, movie. On the other side, Blade Runner 2049, Officer K action figure, NECA logo. So I actually got this figure from uh, Amok Time Toys. They had a crazy cool deal on the pair. So uh, when I saw that they were there, I picked them up together. So uh, yeah, I, I'm still looking for Wallace and Love to complete the series. Originally, I was only going to get uh, K and um, Deckard, but yeah, I, uh, once I started collecting NECAs and stuff, I was like, you know what, I want to I wanna get all four. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get the box opened up and we'll get a better look at the figure. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. Uh, for starters, I have to say the face sculpt on this is pretty good. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like Ryan Gosling in my opinion. The gauze, as I like to call them, call them. But uh, yeah, I think the head sculpt looks absolutely incredible. Really, really captured his likeness, uh, in my opinion. Wasn't a really big Gosling fan until uh, I saw the movie Drive. If you haven't seen Drive, you definitely need to check it out. That's the movie that kind of I was like, wow, you know, uh, he is pretty damn good in that. So. Uh, yeah, when I saw him being uh, cast for this movie, I was like, I was excited. And uh, if you haven't seen Nice Guys, you gotta check out that movie too with Russell Crowe. That's a really good movie. Really, really funny. But, uh, yep, uh, for the head articulation, head seems to rotate all the way around. Uh, does look down. Does sort of look up. I think the coat kind of hinders that movement. Um, pretty good rocking motion. Like I said, I really dig the face sculpt on this. I think the hair looks really good. Uh, the beard. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I really think NECA knocked it out of the park with his likeness. As they, and this, to think, this figure came out in 2017. So NECA just keeps, like, getting better and better with those, in my opinion. Uh, as for the arm articulation, arm does come up just about 90 degrees. Possibly because the uh, shoulder on the jacket, the mold, probably hindering that movement, does rotate all the way around. Does have rotation at the elbow. And it appears this has double joints on the elbow. At least that's what it appears to me here. So some pretty good range of articulation there uh there is rotation in the wrist the wrist does 
go back and forth pretty well. Uh, I don't know if this picks it up. I think the detail in the hands, if you can see the veins there, even on the jacket too, if you can see like the little creases and everything on the jacket, I think that was pretty nice. Uh, not to go off on a tangent, but I never noticed this in the movie that he actually has a numeric or something on the back of his jacket i never noticed that before so seeing this on this figure you can see the little tatters and uh, snags and the wearing and the uh color there very very nice uh attention to detail if you ask me yeah the jacket is or the coat is a bit of a soft plastic so you can kind of see under it doesn't come off unfortunately but you can see his uh sweater underneath and uh, it's textured, so it's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, as for the other arm, the other arm does come up 90 degrees. Does rotate all the way around. Again, double joints in the elbow. So it seems there's rotation up here at the elbow, but also in the forearm. Forearm rotates all the way around. Again, wrist rotation of the wrist and then hand does swivel in swivel out and uh, as for torso articulation there is no torso articulation or rotation unfortunately more than likely because of the way the uh, jacket is molded to him uh, as for the leg articulation leg does come up it's a little stiff because brand new out of the box does go back not too much again, more than likely because of the, uh, the the coat. Does I would imagine does come yeah it does come up, possibly do the splits. But again the coat, as you can see, is getting in the way of that. He's got single joint in the knee. It feels like there can be there is some rotation in the knee, but I don't want to force it to have a video fail. Uh, there is rotation in the foot. Foot doesn't really go back and forth too much, from what I can tell. Uh, the foot does have a swivel side to side. Other leg, foot does come up a lot better. So yeah, probably just a little bit stiff. Uh, it does come, can do the splits. Again, jacket gets in the way. And then can go back. This one actually goes back a little bit better than the other one. It's probably just stiffness, but again, I still feel the jacket is hindering a lot of the movement. Single joint in the knee. And there's some rotation in the knee. Again, I don't want to force it too much. Have a video fail, guys. So uh, rotation in the foot. But sort of goes a little bit front, a little bit back, not too much. And has a rocking back and forth side to side but uh i have to say also i really like the detail in the pants here uh the creases are really nice uh even the shoes i don't know if the camera picks it up well enough i think the shoes are pretty spot on pretty solid uh yeah got two peg holes in the bottom yeah really digging this figure guys i'm glad i picked him up uh, like i said as a huge blade runner fan i was i was i saw this and i had to pick him up so uh let's go ahead and uh Check out his accessory. As for accessories, guys, he really only comes with uh, one. He comes with his uh, blaster pistol, which uh, I like the design of it. And the attention to detail on this thing is really, really nice. It definitely looks like, yeah, it looks pretty legit in my opinion. I don't know if the camera really picks this up well enough, but I think it looks pretty spot on to what the movie looks like. I love the the handle there, the black handle, uh, even the small detail there on the muzzle. Yeah, just all around. I really dig. I really dig this accessory. I'm glad that they included this with them. I wish they would have included some more stuff with them, but hey, man, I'll take what I can get when it comes to Blade Runner. I really like it. Really, really spot on. Like I said, unfortunately, he doesn't come with too much. But, yeah, I still think this is a pretty solid uh, accessory to come with it. As mentioned before, guys, I do have Officer Deckard as well. 
So maybe eventually I will, uh, yeah, I'll probably review him uh, at some point. But uh, yeah, if y'all are interested, guys, definitely let me know in the comments, and then uh, I'll definitely put them on the schedule sooner rather than, there, than later. Because, like I said, I'm a huge Blade Runner fan, so anything Blade Runner, I'm definitely down to uh, pick up. So yeah, just let me know if y'all are interested, and I'll go ahead and review this guy too. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the figure. Are you a fan of Blade Runner 2049? Are you a, a fan of the original Blade Runner? Uh, which is your favorite? Which is your least favorite? Honestly, I love both of these movies. Uh, I think they're both great. I think uh, the original Blade Runner is an absolute masterpiece. And honestly, I feel like 2049 is right up there with it. Uh, at least for me. I mean, that's just my opinion. So if you're a fan of the original Blade Runner, or the Blade Runner franchise as a whole, definitely let me know in the comments, guys. I'd really be interested to see uh, your thoughts on uh, the movies, as well as uh, there's also a video game, there's also comics, there's also uh, an animated series, uh, Black Lotus. And I believe they are doing another Blade Runner TV series for Amazon 2099. Hopefully that'll be good, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if you've all heard of that or anything, but uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Blade Runner like myself, definitely let me know in the comments and we can talk some Blade Runner. Beyond that, guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, thanks again, guys, for coming back and for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. Seriously, guys, I can't thank y'all enough. Y'all rock. Until then, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy and have a good one.